chilling in my folks' backyard right now. Got my tent set up, and uh, yeah, I hope that tonight will be a lot better rest than last night sleeping on the couch. Apparently, I don't sleep well on couches, but uh, the floor was okay. <laughs> so today, got my one-man tent set up. My little Eureka Spitfire Solo, it's called. I love Eureka tents. They are absolutely my favorite brand of tent. I also have the two-man tent, but it has definitely worn out in the past 13 or so years, so uh, this is my one-man upgrade. And I've also got my tarp shade. It's kind of just a fly. A solo wing, the medium-sized one. And I'm missing a few of the guy lines for it. and. Uh, I mean, it can be tied between trees and stuff like that. I just really set it up to air it out, but also it's going to block the view to my tent from the windows of the houses here and next door. So, I got that. I've got my tent here. Boop. a big bivy bag really. It's got a couple poles. Keep it all uh, set up and open here. Got my pack, got my stuff sacks, and I have a sleeping bag, a sleep mat underneath there, and uh, a couple of really light comfortable blankets that actually pack down really small into one of those stuff sacks. So and that's my comfy sleeping setup. I gotta remember to find my headlamp before it gets dark out. So apparently I lucked out with the weather because unlike BC, it has been raining here pretty non-stop, like pretty much every day um, for a while. And uh, it's incredible to see not only green grass, but like standing water in puddles in people's yards. Like it's really kind of crazy. So um, yeah, definitely a huge difference climate wise. Uh, from what I've been used to for the past five or so years, so um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I will be probably spending most of the rest of the summer in my tent, um, at least for the time that I'm going to be in the city. I have various backyards that I can camp out in, which is really cool, and uh, yeah, I'll be figuring out uh, where I can use facilities and all that kind of stuff, you know, here and there. I've hooked up with some Wi-Fi here, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, anyways, I just wanted to show you my setup, and I'll see you after dark. It's really nice out tonight. Yay, adventures. Okay, well, I am uh, very in the city right now, and the neighbors are quite close. And one of them has a dog that can definitely hear me, so I'm just going to keep quiet for tonight, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Morning. It was definitely better than sleeping on a couch. But it is very humid, like, oh my goodness, the, the air is so moist and, like, my tent is really damp. Like, on the outside especially, and I'm probably going to need a little bit of sunlight to actually dry it out, so. Yeah. And there's my setup. Spent the night in my favorite Eureka tent. Now I gotta pack her all up once the dew dries off. Well, since I'm at my folks' place, I definitely took advantage of taking a shower. Uh, it was my first shower since I flew here, so it felt really, really, really amazing. I feel like a million times better now, so glad I got to do that. 
yeah, just getting packed up, hanging up my stuff to sort of dry out a little bit more because it's very damp actually. In the bottom of my tent is still a little bit damp. Just but then unsetting, I just wanted to show you how much moisture is underneath the tent. Like underneath, this is the footprint of the tent, and it did not rain. That is just from the grass. Okay, so the footprint is drying out, sleeping bag's almost dry, and that's the tent there. Just got it upside down so the bottom of it can dry out. And there's the rest of my gear. Okay, so the footprint is drying out, sleeping bag's almost dry, and that's the tent there. Just got it upside down so the bottom of it can dry out. And there's the rest of my gear.